Hi, babe, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your sexy abs, the perfect workout for you to squeeze in after a run in the middle of your day, right when you wake up, you get the point, but I'm challenging you to do this for 15 days in a row so that you can see maximum results in your body. Remember that consistency is key, so let's get started. Okay, let's start. We're gonna start right here, alternating hand to foot, just like this. We are gonna get so strong with our core, Nice cinched waist right here, all targeting the obliques and lower abs. Woo. So pull that knee in towards your chest, lift the chest up, kind of lengthen out through the spine. These are some of my most favorite moves, my go-to moves because, well, they work really well. Good. Switch, switch, switch. Woo. All right, just a few seconds in between each one. And then we're gonna go, let's go. So we're gonna run it out right here. If you need to modify, just put the feet on the ground. Otherwise, legs are up in the air. And we're switching. Whew. Already feeling the burn, right? Feel those hip flexors working, that's good. If you're feeling any popping sensation, then just go a little bit slower through the movements. Good. I know, this is only 30 seconds each round, but they start to feel a lot longer than 30 seconds. Whew. Okay, next one we're gonna do figure eights with knees up like this, little figure eights. If you need to modify, just put those toes down just like that and work your way up, okay? Knees are lifted, ankles are together. And breathe, pretend like you're just in a nice boat canoeing along. Oh boy. You've got this. Try to smile, it helps a lot. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna roll up to each side. Nice big twist up at the top, roll down. Exhale, roll down, good. Keep those knees together, that really helps to engage the inner thighs and the lower belly. And I know if you keep this up, you come back to this video every day, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna feel a big difference, okay? So it's not meant for you to be able to finish all the way through your first time. I designed it so that you can work your way up to it. Okay, take a little breather. We're going into our next one. We're gonna go onto our back. We're gonna twist and hold this position, knee to elbow, and the other leg just pulls in and out, just like that, out and in. Out and in, good. Keep the elbow and knee connected the whole time. So move nice and slow and steady right here. Reach and in, reach and in, good. Pull the lower belly squeezing in. This is a great time to slow down a bit and reconnect with that lower belly. Good, other side, reach and in, reach and in, keep your body lifted up off of the floor as much as possible. Enjoy the beautiful view here behind me. I'm in Hermosa Beach and it is such a gorgeous day out today. I feel so lucky that we get to work out together in this beautiful, beautiful scenery. It's so awesome. Good, keep that elbow connected with your knee. Keep going, keep going. Ah, okay, we're gonna pull the knees in, bring the hands underneath the hips. Pull the knees in and extend. Good, so give a little, little pop there with the hips and then pull in. Woo. Extend long. So exhale as the knees come in. Inhale on the way out. Exhale and inhale. Nice work here. I love the variety of all the exercises too because it just makes your abs really have to stay on top of it, right? It completely switches it up each time. All right, now the legs are gonna go out and we're gonna come into a nice little ball here. So out and then pull in, out and in. Same thing, inhale on the way out, exhale. Cinch it all the way together, inhale. And it doesn't have to be fast. If you wanna move slow at first to really get down the movements, that's totally okay and I recommend that. And then as you come back, you can begin to speed it up as you start to get that mind-muscle connection. Inhale, exhale, good. All right, let's 
scissors switch the legs. So pull the leg in and extend. If you need a modification, you can just bend the knees here just like that. Otherwise, you can go for the calf or the ankle. And I'm pulling my leg just a little bit as my upper body lifts up. I knit the ribs together, shoulders are down, lower belly presses down to the spine. Use your breath. Your breath is a part of your core because your diaphragm is a part of your core. So the breath will help. All right, next one. Okay, we're gonna come into a forearm plank and we're gonna start with one leg at a time. So you're gonna lift the leg up, pull it in, and then you're gonna reach back into a little dolphin pose. So it's okay if the hips come up like that in between each one. And you're gonna pull the knee in. Stay on one side and then we'll switch for the next one. break. Let's go to the other side. Let's set it up. Here we go. Make contact elbow to knee. So make that contact. Feel it. Good. Really rock the weight forward onto the hands and forearms and shoulders. Come on up and we're gonna do our mermaid lifts. I love this one because we're at the beach. All right, we're gonna lift the legs up, lower and lift. Stay on one side and then we'll switch for the next one. Lift and lower. Feel that deep, deep core muscles working here. Takes a lot of strength to lift up your legs. Feel those inner thighs work as well. All right, let's switch to the other side. Exhale as the legs come up, inhale as they lower down. Make sure that you're still pushing out of the shoulder. Okay, let's come on to our elbow. Side plank, you can do it on your knees to modify. And we're gonna lower down and lift just like that. You can do it on your heels with me if you'd like. So you choose. We're gonna do both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you start with. Exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, good. Okay, switch sides right away. Here we go, elbows down. Did what you did on the other side, either knees or feet. Press up out of the floor. Keep lifting your hips up. do twisted mountain climbers. To finish it off, here we go. Twist, 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 twist. So you can stay here, or if you wanna run it out with me and give it a nice, strong finish, let's go. Good, keep going, keep going. Wow, that was a burner, right? Amazing job.
You crushed that workout. I'm so proud of you. I know the hardest part is just showing up on your mat for you and you did it. So make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below. Let me know how your progress is coming along. And remember to check in with me on Instagram as well. Take a little sweaty selfie, hashtag stretchy babe, tag stretchy fit app and action Jacqueline. See you in the next video. Bye.